Oatmeal has long been known as a healthy breakfast option, but in some population, it may be unhealthy. Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. Oatmeal is a traditional food. It's been around for so many years, but it does contain a good amount of carbohydrates. One cup of oatmeal is about 27 grams of carbohydrate. One will ask, what about the fiber? Yes, it does contain fiber. One cup of oatmeal contains about four grams of fiber. So when you do the math, we have 23 grams of carbs left. So one cup of oatmeal has about 23 net carbohydrates. One teaspoon of sugar is equivalent to about four or five grams of carbohydrate. So by inference, when we eat one cup of oatmeal, we have consumed five to six teaspoons of sugar. And for the one who is pre-diabetic, who is diabetic or insulin resistant, this can be a problem. The other thing is that oatmeal contains evening. Evening is a protein that behaves like gluten and it does release cytokines, which is very inflammatory to our immune system. So for the one who has autoimmune disease or celiac disease or anything for that matter related to immune system, this can be a problem. Now, what is my advice? Oatmeal has been a staple. We can enjoy it from time to time, but for the one who is metabolically compromised, who is diabetic, who is pre-diabetic and insulin resistant, this can be a problem. Now, let's look at some research that I have attached below. In the research, it says beta glucan, which is a soluble fiber that is contained in an oatmeal, was isolated and it was able to reduce cholesterol numbers by a few percentage points. I understand that beta glucan is contained in oatmeal, so I was expecting that the sample size or the population used in the study will be given oatmeal. Why did they isolate just beta glucan? So, in other words, they only ate beta glucan and it helped with the cholesterol numbers by a few percentage points. Does that mean when they ate it as a whole, it did not make that much of a difference? That is just something to think about. Now, in another research, it says oatmeal was able to reduce blood glucose and reduce blood cholesterol compared to the control group. And guess what the control group is? White bread. Now, anything compared to white bread will do a better job. So what that means is that if white bread spike our blood sugar by say 20 points and the oatmeal also spike our glucose by 10 points yes there's a significant difference but it is being compared to something worse so that's also something to think about now my advice and solution if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic or insulin resistant you want to stay away from oatmeal because it can potentially raise your blood glucose and if you have high levels of cholesterol it may not be the go-to food to reduce cholesterol levels because in the research they use beta glucan which is containing oatmeal but was able to reduce the cholesterol numbers to a few percentage points so if you have unhealthy levels of cholesterol i don't think oatmeal will do any magic to your numbers you want to go the right route and reduce your blood cholesterol levels now in terms of eating breakfast i advise that most people skip breakfast so that they can prolong their fast now, in terms of breaking your fast, I advise that you break your fast around noon and you want to break it with something like the true green food oatmeal replacement. We have bitter oat, clean oat and ultra oat. These are all oatmeal replacements that are very low in carbohydrates and doesn't have gluten or even it. They are just replacement which is chia based. Now, if you don't want to go that route, you can enjoy some good old scrambled eggs and that will do it. If this content resonates, Please don't forget to like, follow, share, and most importantly, subscribe so that we can keep this conversation going. I will see you in the next video. Take care.